Hey guys, how you doing? Set 50 Gaming here. And yes, for part 15 of Drive Club All Cars, we will be driving the Lotus Exige S. And this car looks awesome. But unfortunately, the Apex pack has came out. But it costs 8 bucks. I was thinking like, shit, like, I bought this game. Why don't I get the freaking um, DLC for free? So I'm kind of pissed off about that. But they also have the Icona Volcano, which I've, I've never heard of this car brand ever before. I think I've heard of the car, but never the car brand. The ZR1 Centennial Edition. So there's now two American cars in this game. Both are Corvettes. Um, you've got the McLaren 650S, which is the, um, it is the update to the 12C, which is pretty cool. And they also have the Enzo, which is just awesome. And they also have the Jaguar CX-75 Prototype Edition. And this, the Jaguar has K-E-R-S, which is so cool. Um, it does have a back wing, but look at that. It looks like a shark from the back. That's too cool. But unfortunately, I do not have the money for it because I need to buy a freaking PlayStation car. Because I, I thought these cars were free, to be fully honest. Which I'm a bit stupid to think now, but hey, I kind of was hoping since since Australia is in front of time from America, I think I do not know if this DLC was released the exact same way like worldwide the same time, but if it was released in Australia first, then I could have been the first to make a video on it and then get a shitload of views, which is a it's freaking annoying. But I'll make sure I have money. <laughs> I'll make sure I have mum. I'll make sure I have money in my PlayStation account for the next DLC when it comes out and hopefully I can be the first to upload that and then hopefully I can get some views because I'm only really getting like 20 views a video which is unfortunate but hopefully I'll get more but hey can't afford to be too picky I'm just starting out I'm only 16 so yeah who gives a shit <laughs> but yes the Lotus Exige S does have 350 horsepower which is I think one of the, I think it's the most powerful Lotus to date um, when it comes to proper production Lotus made in the factory itself and shit. But, yeah, it does have 350 horsepower. Um, it is a bit heavier than all Lotuses. Like, I think the first ever, the first ever release was, like, I think 780 kilos or something like that. Very, very light. Do not know how they could make a car that light. That had, I think, 118 horsepower. I know this might have 350 and you might be thinking this car must go really quick it must weigh exactly the same but no it doesn't it weighs around about 1.3 tons which is makes it the heaviest lotus elise ever well it's basically an, an exige s but it's based off the elise so it makes it the heaviest elise ever but this car's quick it's it does weigh one point i think it's 1.28 tons or something like that so it, do, it doesn't weigh that much at all, but can. But the whole point of Lotus is to make light, like very, very light sports cars. And I don't know. I don't really like the heavier style of Lotus. Lotus is kind of like all those the cars. It's like not much power, but the weight. That's what you care about, the weight. But this car's quick. It looks awesome. From the back, it looks a bit old. Being fully honest, like I remember the older Elises. The early 2000 releases, the back of them look like look newer than this, because that just that I don't know that just looks old-fashioned from the back. But hey, I'm not styling it. But the rest of the car looks pretty damn brand new. It is a Lotus, so it is British, so it's yeah, it's very light, so that means it doesn't have a radio. I think it does have a radio. Yes, it does. Then it might have air conditioning. That's probably why it weighs so much, but. Yeah, you got everything, you got, like, simple driving stuff here. You have no buttons on the wheels, which, you have no buttons on the wheel, shall I say. Not on the wheels, but the wheel. And you got simple dials, you got your speedo, and you got your rev meter. I, I think it's called the tachometer or something like that. I'm not really good with, um, the names for the dials, but hey. But this car is pretty quick. I think the top speed is 155 or 160. Some of that. I do not know the exact torque figures, but I heard it has actually quite a lot, which you want. Torque. If you have a lot of torque in a light car, it's going to go flying. But that's the Lotus drifted. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, 
that looks pretty damn cool. 245, that's pretty quick, actually. Um, yeah, well, that's part 15. I apologize so much I cannot freaking um, do the Apex DLC videos, because if I could do that, then hopefully I'll get quite a lot of views, because whenever I do a video on something very new, I usually tend to get a lot of views for it. I usually tend to find out that I get a lot of views for that, which is a bit unfortunate. But, hey, it's my fault. But there's always going to be new DLCs coming out with Drive Club. Like, you know, I think they have a DLC coming out, like, once every... Like, once every two, three months at this time. So I'll have to wait another two months. But, hey, it's all good. Thank you for watching Part 15. Every like, like, means a lot to me. Um, please tell your friends about my channel. If they do like racing games, then please tell them. I don't mean to spam, but I'm just... I'm just trying to get my channel to grow. And it would mean the world to me if you could get someone to subscribe or like my vids. So thank you guys very much. Take care.